Afternoon. I'm John Elder. I'm responsible for Hatch's mining and metals business in the U.S. I'm based in Salt Lake City. And a number of you might be familiar with Hatch, probably as an engineering company or an EPCM. And that's, that's not wrong. We are. Uh, we're both an engineering company, EPCM, but a lot more. Uh, although you know, we've got approximately $50 billion worth of um, projects under management right now. But I'll talk a little bit more about the non-EPCM, non-engineering side. But we've got about 9,000 people, 65 offices globally, and, and routes that go well over 100 years. We're doing a lot of work in digital and advisory services, and I'll, I'll highlight a few of those this afternoon. Advisory is a relatively new area, although we've been doing consulting work for years, but we've just grouped it under the advisory practice right now. We offer transaction support, strategy, risk, business process improvement, asset and operational work, operational readiness, and implementation and execution support. The one thing that we really feel makes, makes a difference to our clients is that not only can we work with a client to come up with a solution, but we can also engineer that solution and implement that solution. So hopefully getting the best of both worlds. With digital, again, uh, digital isn't uh, a means or an end to itself. Basically, it's an enabler that we're putting into all of our sector work. So we've, we've got digital initiatives and, and actually large projects going on right now in infrastructure, utilities, smart industry, which includes our mining and, and uh, metallurgical sector, and also digital solutions in and of themselves. Technology and automation, uh, we talked a little bit about this yesterday in one of our presentations, but doing a lot of work underground, integrated operations centers, big focus for us right now globally. Um, and I, I think something important that, that's a little bit different for Hatch than maybe some other technology providers is that we are technology agnostic. Our focus isn't to find a problem for our solution, our focus is to find the best fit and best value for our partners. Underground development and optimi optimization, just going back a little bit to some of the traditional work we do, we're probably involved in about 50% of the underground projects in North America, uh, at least that. And it's a major focus for our digital initiatives right now with underground work, both in Canada and, and the USA. Strategy and road mapping, another major focus for us. And as was mentioned yesterday by a number of presenters, the focus here is on the business objective, not necessarily the digital objective. So in this case, the, the, the main focus was reducing CapEx overall, but OpEx by $3 a ton. This was for a South African mining operation, but keeping that end in mind before starting the work is critical. Digital transformations, again, another major focus for us right now. This is a project, uh, it's a Greenfields potash mine. Uh, along with associated infrastructure and port facilities. Business objective is bold. It's to save or unlock $500 million in NPV. That's not the capital cost, that's the NPV savings that the client is requesting here. Um, anyway, so it's, it's really our, our mind of the future. Uh, you know, I know that term might be overused, but it, it is a significant focus for us uh, with this, uh, what will be or could be the world's largest potash operation. Integrated operation centers mentioned earlier, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got significant work going on in gold and iron ore in that, uh, both in North America and, and globally. And short interval control, uh, a project we talked about yesterday with, uh, with Catherine, Nura, and uh, Carlo. Again, uh, the ma main focus there is to reduce variability and then make a step change in productivity. So it's a redu reduction of the variability first, stabilize it, and then uh, see what can be done to the productivity and lower cost. And a lot of that has to do with connected worker and uh, continuous improvement. And significantly, as we've all heard the last two days, change management and managing the people are important. Um, you know, we, we like to say people, process, and technology there, and, and it all often or should always start with the people. Integrated port automation, uh, just another example. Um, th this is interesting because we're, we're doing it at ports, 
uh, container ports, terminals, and also bulk uh, shipping ports, but also in, in uh, mineral processing, metallurgical facilities. If there isn't a, a good off-the-shelf or commercially available product, we'll also develop it ourselves. So as I said earlier, uh, we're not looking at necessarily selling technology. We want to uh, enable our clients to succeed, but if there's a need be, we'll develop the technology to suit the, uh, suit the need. So that's, that's a big project for us in California. And just uh, get a glimpse of, of how we're looking at the industry. Thanks for your time. We're over in booth seven and Nora, put up your hand. Yes, so if you need to change, call Nora. <laughs>